Thank you for purchasing this walker. These instructions will apply to walkers that have the same frame as these. This video will guide you in assembling your walker. If you have additional questions, please refer to your instruction manual or call our helpful Consumer Experience Department at 1-800-230-8190. This video should not be used in lieu of your instruction manual. Please refer to your instruction manual for additional important information. If the toy station on your walker requires batteries, then you will need a Phillips screwdriver to install the batteries. Otherwise, no tools are required to assemble your walker. Please remove all zip ties and packaging from all the component parts. To get started, please locate the right and left side support legs. Here's a tip. When you assemble the walker, the screws will be facing each other on the inside of the frame. Insert the legs into the bottom of the tabletop on each side by pressing down on the silver locking pin. Be sure that the pin engages completely. Pull to check that the connection is secure. Here's a tip. If the legs move slightly after being attached, that's normal. This slight movement will help in assembling the remaining parts. Next, locate the base and insert the leg tubes into the base in the same manner. Make sure the locking pins engage and pull to make sure it is a secure connection. Now locate the backrest for the seat. Insert the clips on each side into the side holes and then press down on the top of the backrest to snap into place. Locate the seat pad. There are eight anchors around the outside of the fabric. The tallest part of the seat pad is the back of the seat. Insert the seat pad over the backrest. Feed the anchors through the slots provided and pull from the bottom to secure the anchor. Repeat for each anchor around the entire circumference of the seat pad. Here's a tip. Align the anchors with the slots all the way around first, then push them through and secure them underneath. If your walker has anchors like this, they will need to be installed by feeding the anchors through the slots provided and pulling from the bottom to engage the anchor. Then ensure the anchor is flat with the underside of the tabletop. Some walkers may require batteries to be installed into the toy station. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the battery compartment door. Insert the number and type of batteries as indicated in your instruction manual. Replace the battery compartment door and tighten it using the screwdriver. Insert the toy station into the tabletop at the front indentation provided. Here's a tip. Align the tabs with the slots in the tray and push the tabs into the holes first, then downward until you hear a click. Locate the link loops and insert them into the holes provided on either side of the tray toy station. These are for adding additional toys. To adjust the seat as your baby grows, locate the buckles on the bottom of the seat pad and push to unbuckle. This will make the seat lower. There are three choices for height adjustment, unbuckled for a smaller or shorter baby, and two buckled positions for a bigger or taller baby. Removing the toy station. To remove the toy station, it is helpful to use a flathead screwdriver. From underneath the table, push the tabs to release the toy station. Pull from the top of the toy station while using the flathead screwdriver to release tabs from the underside. If your toy station looks like this, simply push the buttons on either side of the front of the toy station and simultaneously lift up. Hold the walker at the top of the leg frame near the tabletop and push on the silver locking pins with one hand while grabbing in the middle of the leg and pulling straight back with the other hand. Here's a tip. Be sure to pull straight back. If you pull at an angle, it will be harder to remove the side legs. Then remove the base by pushing to disengage the silver locking pins and detach the legs from the base. Thank you for purchasing this walker. If you have additional questions, please refer to your instruction manual or call our helpful Consumer Experience Department at 1-800-230-8190.
This video should not be used in lieu of your instruction manual. Please refer to your instruction manual for additional important information. We continuously improve our products, so images in this video may differ slightly from the product you purchased.